Hello and welcome to the art class. My name is Mimi. That's my grandmother name and I'm very proud of it. So today we're going to paint some rocks and I'm going to show you some examples of rocks that have been painted by my neighbor and then a couple that I painted with suggestions from the web and then we'll, we'll show you the process. So on the chart here we have the materials. Of course you need rocks. All shapes of rocks are workable. These came from a river stream nearby. So after you pick your rocks, be sure to wash them and scrub them good and let them dry so they, they, they don't lose the paint. And then you need some acrylic paints. You can get a set of little acrylic paints for six bucks at your local art store. And a styrofoam plate will work just fine as a palette. And what I do, if I have paint left over, I slip it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator and it will stay usable. Then you need two or three brushes and I just have a variety of smaller to larger brushes because I'll use these to paint the surface of the rock and then maybe these for the little details. Also, some markers are handy, particularly a, a black one. So some markers, you can use a pencil with a straight pen stuck in the eraser to dab in the paint and put on your rock to get all kind of details. So that's another idea. Uh, so markers, pen and pencil for the dots. A sketch pad is handy because then you can try out your idea on paper and see if it works. So here you'll see a few sketches that I did and I found these from the web. This one in particularly attracted me because it's my husband's favorite food. <laughs> so that had to be a hot dog. And then one granddaughter loves turtles, so I thought she might be interested in that one. And then I decided that I would do the state bird of North Carolina, which is a cardinal, on one of my rocks. So after you get your materials together, be sure to put your plastic down because it is messy and wear something old that can get paint on it because it won't wash out. All right, so the process is, as we said, to just clean and wash the rocks. Then, if you, this is just the rock as it came. And I think I put just a very, very light gray on it, but a little darker gray, or maybe you'll want blue a different color to be the, out, to be the background color because it's more consistent and then the details will show up. And then the next thing is, of course, after you've sketched your picture, then if you're satisfied with it, you can outline your design with a marker on your stone. And then when you're happy with that, with this in mind, you can always paint over it if you're not happy with something. That's the glory of acrylic paints. So now we're ready to paint some rocks. All right, so one thing that's kind of fun is to think about the rock you pick up. Look at this guy. This is the gator. I hope you could recognize that as a gator. Anyway, I thought he was just had all those great attributes of the teeth and the eye, and then I could just rub some green paint on top and make him look like a real gator. And so now he will be a birthday present because I have some gator fans in the family and we're gonna paint another gator because this rock is of a similar shape. But before we start there, you saw the hot dog. These are some other examples. This is a, a little panda, heart panda that one of the granddaughters found on the web. This rock seemed like it would be happy with a little flower on top. And you can see I used a red and then painted the pink over it and then the green leaves. And this one, after looking at it for a while, I thought it just looked like a heart. So that became a heart. And of course, if you want to personalize your rocks, you could put someone's name on it or you could put a message on it and do whatever you like. Okay, so I think we're ready to start painting. Be sure to have your water jar handy. And we talked about this rock and this is the second part of the process. So. This rock has a lot of different kind of flowers on it. 
but I decided for the example today to just use sunflowers. So I'm going to mix some yellow paint. This is what they call a stay wet palette because there's a little sponge at the bottom and that keeps the uh, paints moist. So we just paint this and then I'll, I'll go through and paint all the petals yellow. And then I'll come back with a little red and brown for the center. Mix a little bit of that. So we'll put that in the center. You can see it's pretty wet now, but it will dry quickly. And then I can come back and put some dots with that pencil with the pen in it I'm showing you. So that's going to be the process for that. This rock is almost finished except for the cardinal. So I'm going to use a slightly larger brush and get some nice reds. Ooh, this looks like a good cardinal red. And, and this was just a picture I, I saw on the web. So I know that this interior part is going to be black around his eye. But these make nice little gifts. One granddaughter painted a musical note on her rock, just a single note, because she's learning the violin. And she thought she would give that to her violin teacher. And then the other granddaughter who made this one painted a rose on her rock because she has a grandmother named Rose. So, whoops, black. Okay, there's just a little black around the cardinal's eye. So I'll just wait a little bit before I do this part, which will be the yellow beak. And then I'll probably come back and do a little bit more with his legs. Maybe add a little bit of brown to the body. Okay, then if you want to, when you finish your rock, you can spray a fixative on it to just keep it from um, deteriorating, if you, especially if you want to leave it outside. So, I don't think I showed you this. this. This will just show you how simple it is to use these little markers to make your flowers. And I'm going to show you some flowers that my neighbor made that she did such a nice job with all the, the details on it. And then she wrote something, so that will dry very quickly. So these are some of Jackie's rocks. She wrote bloom on hers, and you can see all these little dots I'll show you now, and then one that says grow. And what I was noticing in particular with this one is that she matched these flowers, and these flowers, and these flowers, and then she wrote grow on top, so. So she, and she uses this when she has a picnic or something to put on the napkins. Now, if you want to really get fancy and fun, you can go all out and find a design you like. This one I found on the web of this cat. And so I thought this rock was a pretty good shape. So later I'm going to paint this rock with different colors, but the same design. And then if you, pick up some little sparkly sequins that have a, a fixative on the back, you can just give that cat some really sparkly eyes. <laughs> so that's it for the rock painting. Everybody can have fun doing this project and it's very simple and inexpensive.